All right, I wanted to show you a project that I've just got finished with here. Uh, it's a chisel cabinet. Uh, this basically came out of necessity that I've got all my chisels scattered all over the shop. I needed a place to put them. At the same time, I had also been working on a design for this kind of river shape uh, down through the center of a table. And so I did a mock-up and basically had some, some chestnut and uh, maple that I was using for the mock-up on it. Um, it just happens that the size of it and the length of it worked out perfect for this cabinet, so I just basically used those dimensions, built a frame around the, the panel, so I've got a, a panel, you know, door like that, and then just built the cabinet around it. Uh, the cabinet I wanted to do kind of a chronob style, so it's the top and the bottom are flush with the outside face of the door, and then the outside face is flush with the outsides on it. Um, I just like that look on it and it just gives it a nice clean clean look to it. Um, the corners on this I'll turn it around. Uh, the corners on it are dovetailed. Uh, you can see another view of that. And then also if I open it up, I've actually already got some stuff inside of it just to show. Um, I basically did all of the chisel holders are they're half inch holes, they're an inch and an eighth on centers and then the notch going in is just slightly under a half inch so that when they go in they kind of drop in place and don't fall out. I used the chestnut on the back side also just for some contrast to match on the front side. Put a little shelf in the bottom for some small plane storage things like that and used a piano hinge on the inside. Um, I may change a little bit later on and add some more storage on the door. Uh, that's one of the reasons I use the piano hinge is because it's much stronger so I didn't have to worry about it if it was if I need to use it later on. Uh, the one thing that I did as far as hanging the cabinet on the wall is typically I'll use a French cleat on the back. I usually will use just use wood. Um, however this time I had basically put a rabbit. The, the depth of the box once I made it I decided it wasn't quite as deep. I wanted to keep all the depth I could. So I only, um, I just basically flushed the back out with the edge and a rabbit. So I wanted to, to keep this French cleat as narrow as I could. So it's as low profile. Uh, Woodcraft carries this, this hanger. It's, uh, it's just basically a pitcher hanger. It's supposed to carry 200 pounds, which is more than enough for this cabinet. Um, and it goes on super easy. Overall, came down a good project and uh, excited about getting to use it and putting it to work, cleaning up the shop a little bit. All right, until next time, I'm Chris Adkins of High Rock Woodworking and the Modern Woodworkers Association. Uh, you can also follow uh, our podcast at MWA Podcast on iTunes. See you then.